<clears throat> it's uh, part seven, part eight, signal conditioning circuit. In very beginning, I said, uh, uh, we need an amplifier to amplify small signal from a micron volt to millivolt. Uh, normally from a beginning, uh, maybe DC, maybe AC, uh, but before we can convert a signal to a digital form, we need a DC signal. So to uh, do so, um, it involves uh, three main parts, which are amplifiers, rectifier, or demodulator uh, filter. Those are three parts. Uh, amplifier, actually, already we discussed instrumentation amplifier. Uh, that is, uh, I would say, is the most important in a signal conditioning circuit. So already we discussed uh, the first uh, atom. Uh, the second atom, we discussed uh, rectifier and uh, demodulator. That's a rectifier. When you, uh, uh, the, the basic function of a rectifier is to convert an AC signal to a DC signal. Now immediately you, uh, you may think of a diode. Can we use a diode to convert uh, a small AC signal into a DC signal? And the answer is uh, no, because diode itself is not working with small signals. The reason is any diode, there is a, a <coughs> there is a, a called the forward threshold or is that that region is a 0.7 volt or 0.3 volt. This uh, depends on different uh, material. Let's say if your signal, you have a AC signal, this uh, like uh, 0, 0 0.1 volt, uh, 100 millivolt is quite a big signal in, in uh, electronic circuit. But for that uh, signal, if you use a diode itself, you wouldn't have anything uh, come out. Uh, now to overcome this uh, problem with the tight voltage region of diode, we need uh, to make use of uh, open. Uh, here is uh, um, a practical circuit. This is a half wave rectifier circuit. Uh, you have uh, one open here, you have uh, two diodes, uh, and uh, some resistors, you have two resistors there. Now, uh, if you try to read the textbook, you would have found it's uh, quite uh, difficult to, to uh, understand how this uh, circuit works. Now, uh, uh, what I like uh, to do, I like to consider two cases. One is uh, VI is positive. The other case is uh, VI is uh, negative. I try to make this, uh, to um, verify this uh, table. Uh, that is a table. Okay, I go here. If VI is a positive, I put a sign here, this is a positive. Okay. Now because here is a negative sign, that is a zero. Uh, here is a zero, All right? If uh, here is a positive, Obviously, here trend to be very, very negative. Uh, yeah, from here to here. This, because here is a positive, that is a negative sign. And here, this output trend to be very negative. Uh, if you have a plus minus 15 volt to, uh, as a power supply for this open, and this output can reach minus 15. Very, very negative. Now, once this point is very, very negative, what happened here is there will be, there will be a pass. Go so this way, there will be a pass. All right? This become a 
uh, a path for negative feedback. You have a negative between this point and that point, you have a feedback. Okay. Once you have a feedback, this here is a zero. Do remember if uh, with the OPAM, if I have any feedback, that we have negative feedback, here is a zero, right? Here is zero, that is a very negative. Obviously you have a current go this way, yeah, go that way. Okay. Uh, if here is a very negative, here is a zero, uh, that diode is off. That is off and this diode is on. Uh, oh, this is on, that is uh, off. Uh, now, once this uh, happen, uh, if we look at this uh, output here, this become actually become simply a in, inverting amplifier with a gain of two, right? With a gain equals two. So here, when I we we can easily work out here is a minus two v <coughs> vr. So that is uh, the first case when VI is a positive. Okay, let's go back to this, uh, this uh, paragraph. If VI is a positive, all palm output trend towards very negative. That is uh, here, very negative. Uh, say minus 15, force delta two to be on. This is delta two, now uh, it's on. And D1 is off, and this one is off. In this case, the circuit becomes an in inverting amplifier with a gain of uh, minus two. Uh, because so here you have a two R and that is R, you have and gain equals minus two. Now VO equals minus two, uh, minus two VI. So, uh, I write this uh, result uh, to this uh, table that is a plus uh, d1 is off the d1 is off there uh, d2 is on uh, output is minus 2 vi that is the first case the second case the second case when vi is uh, negative if this is a negative if here is negative, this point will trend to be very positive. Uh, yeah, so here is zero, again, here is zero. Uh, if here is a negative, that is a negative, that point trend to be very positive. Once here is a very positive, there will be a path from here to there. That will be a path. In this case, this diode is on. That is D1 is on. Right. That is zero. We look at this pass. That is a positive. You look at this uh, direction, this uh, diode. So this diode in that case is off. That is off. So now this uh, D1 provides uh, negative feedback to force this point is a zero. That is a virtual ground. If here is a zero, that is off, uh, that is a zero. Uh, in this case, VO equals zero. VO equals zero, right? Oh, that is a second case. So if a VI is a negative, all palm output trend towards very positive, that is here. Uh, say plus 15 volt, forcing D1 be on and D2 off. Uh, D1 is on, D2 off. So in this case, V minus remain zero. Uh, that is here, remain zero uh, because of a negative feedback via D1. Uh, because um, no current uh, through to R, that is a zero, there's a no, no supply, uh, that is a zero. Therefore, VO in this case is a zero. So that is uh, the second case. Right? When input is uh, minus, 
D1 is uh, on, D2 is off, uh, output is uh, zero. Uh, during this uh, process, we uh, talk about uh, plus or minus. I didn't say what is uh, amplitude. Uh, amplitude actually can be very, very small uh, because uh, OPAM is uh, very sensitive. Your OPAM is uh, very sensitive over here. So this uh, signal can be very small. Uh, we don't have a problem with uh, uh, diode itself. If you use a diode itself, you try to uh, um, you try to uh, convert an AC into DC, you would have uh, uh, have a problem. So oh, if we have um, input like this, this is a sine wave input. Uh, when <coughs> the signal is uh, positive, when signal is positive, you have a negative output that is a look like this. If uh, uh, it's a negative, that output remains zero. Uh, if a negative, you just uh, simply cut, cut this, right? Look at this. So effectively, how we convert this um, this uh, sine wave into half wave, uh, half wave. Uh, once we uh, get rid of uh, of um, AC signal, we can have uh, a certain DC. Output. So oh, that is um, a general principle of uh, half wave uh, rectifier. Right, the following is uh, a full wave rectifier. Yeah. Full wave ret rectifier. If you uh, take a line here, you can see this side, actually, this uh, exactly. Look at this block here. This is exactly this is a half wave rectifier. What's the difference from previous case is the following. You have this part. This part actually is a summing amplifier. There are two inputs. One come from a half wave rectifier. The other one from inputs directly. Uh, you sum those two signals together. You get your output. So this is a uh, for a wave for rectifier. I, I show you how this uh, circuit work. Again, I simply, I use uh, um, uh, this uh, plus minus analysis. So if this is a plus, uh, here must be very negative. Once this is negative, right, you have this, you have this. So once you have this uh, negative feedback here become inverting amplifier, we discussed this before, and here is two minus two VI, okay? Now this uh, um, voltage will be amplified by second stage. Actually you have a two. Uh, input in this case, that is a minus two VI, this is a VI. Okay. We uh, learned uh, uh, superposition principle in the past. Now we can consider those two signals one by one. I consider this one first. This is inverting again. So you have uh, two VI, right? Now I cover this, I just consider this side. So this is, uh, minus vi. So I put uh, those two together, this equals vi. So I summarize this uh, positive input to here. Uh, D1 is off uh, because here is a very negative, you wouldn't uh, through, signal wouldn't go through this uh, diode. And D2 is on because here is very negative, there would be a pass here. Um, minus two VI is there. Uh, the output is uh, VI that is uh, here. Now that is the first case. The second case, when uh, VI is uh, minus, when this is minus, here is a very positive. Uh, if here is very positive, you would have a pass here. That's D one is on. That is here, D1 is on. Because here is a very positive, 
right? You wouldn't go through that way. So D2 must be off. So let's use this. Uh, because you have a negative feedback, here is a zero. Uh, in this case, that potential is zero. Uh, because here is zero, there is no pass, no current here. So here must be zero. In this case, there is no contribution from here to second stage. There is only one contribution is from here directly. This is a VI. Uh, that is an inverting amplifier. So in this case, VO simply is a minus VI. That is this, minus VI. Now, if you look this um, table again, uh, when, this, uh, when the signal, the input signal is positive, right? <coughs> the output is the same as your input. When uh, your input is negative, you have a minus sign. Minor sign, right? That is a bit different. Again, if we consider a sine wave like this, like this, a sine wave, uh, when the signal is uh, positive, your output is same, that is uh, same. When your signal is negative, you have additional sign, a negative sign. That means you turn this uh, shape around uh, like this, like this. So now the signal is uh, become, uh, um, become um, a full wave. That is a full wave. After you take off, um, filter off uh, uh, AC component, you have just a DC left. So that, that is uh, a full wave uh, rectifier. Now you convert it uh, AC signal to DC. Uh, let's uh, stop here. We continue next video.